my intellectually curious and learned love bugs. Welcome back to another almost daily-ish December and another book haul review. I mean, I didn't buy them. I mean, I, some of them were gifted to me, but I've had these all for like a really long time. If you want to see parts one and two, they're up in the cards coming up and where I have reviewed like preteen, young adult books, and then I reviewed some identification guides I have, and now we are going to get into coffee table books, which is what I have a lot of because when people come into my house, I'm like, look at this bug book, look at this bug book, look at how cool bugs are. So yeah, we're going to go over some coffee table books today. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Nancy. I'm an entomologist, which means that I study bugs, and I live in Ecuador where normally I'm doing ecotourism focused on insects, but obviously that isn't happening, so welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this. I'd say it's like a book review, but it's really just like, here's all the books that I like. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily read books I don't like, so you can find these books in the reference section below, they are affiliate links, which means that you pay the same price and I get a small commission. And everyone is happy, supports the channel, you get books that you know that you'll love, so here we are. So if you love bugs and you want other people who come into your house to love bugs as much as you do, I recommend having, you know, one or all of these <laughs> on your coffee table. So they are in no particular order. They're literally the stack that I pull them off of on my coffee table. And also, if you are a person who likes books that are in pristine conditions, this video is not for you because uh, I write in, highlight, and bring my books to the jungle. So they're always a little bit, you know, you can tell I used them, right? That, that should be a good, a good indication that I liked them because like they went places with me. This is Hidden Kingdom, The Insect Life of Costa Rica. This is by Peter Naskraki and it's just a, okay, so for those of you who don't know Peter Naskraki, he does amazing insect photography. This entire book is not only his knowledge, but also gorgeous photos of insects. So it's like, um, so it has just kind of not only just pictures, it's not just a picture book, but also gives you a description about how the insect lives and like what the insect's biology is. And you know, you have some pictures of, uh, like this, which are just kind of like small, a lot of just kind of explanatory text, but you also have some pretty large, just beautiful photos in here as well. It's so hard to just show pictures of insects without also talking about why they look that way or what they're doing in the ecosystem so just really gorgeous high quality some full page pictures in here and just like really nice interesting information as well definitely will capture the attention of whoever is sitting and sipping coffee at your coffee table or you know if you just hand it to them and are like open up this book you know that's what I normally do hey look at my book <laughs> so just absolutely absolutely beautiful like look at this termite that's a termite man all right anyway beautiful book definitely recommend this next book is was given to me by my college advisor when I graduated and it was like such a sweet gift and I still have it I brought it all the way to Ecuador with me because I love it so much and this is an inordinate fondness for beetles. And this actually comes from a quote, I forget by whom, but it like apparently was misquoted, but the idea is it went something like, if we were to tell something from the creator by his creation, we would tell that he has an inordinate fondness of both stars and beetles. And it's just because there's 400,000 beetles. The hymenopterists will tell you there's more hymenoptera, but they, you know, they haven't been named yet, so I don't think it counts. Again, just really beautiful pictures of these animals, but also has a lot of just information about them as well. So there's full pages talking about beetles and their biology and you know how they're living. And these are beetles from all over the world. I really like to use this as kind of like an inspiration for art. I draw insects every now and then and I just love flipping through this and just like seeing their really beautiful 
arrangements of these specimens. It talks a lot about their biology, like this whole section is talking about chemical defenses of beetles or camouflage or mimicry of beetles. So it really gives you a little bit of an inside look into their life and not just, you know, pictures just for the sake of being a picture book. So this is An Inordinate Fondness of Beetles by Arthur V. Evans and Charles L. Bellamy. With the photography is by Lisa Charles Watson. This one is heavy. <laughs> Shout out to my dad who brought this thing to Ecuador for me. <laughs> so this is The Book of Beetles, The Life-Size Guide to 600, 600 nature gems and this is edited by patrice bouchard i'm so sorry if i like ruined everyone's name but this book is so cool because each page is a snapshot of a different beetle it has a close-up photo and it has its actual size which i think is really cool because it has pictures in here of beetles that are like the size of periods on a paper like some of the smallest organisms and they have real life pictures of some of the biggest beetles and it also gives you where in the world they are, some quick stats about them, and a little paragraph about them and their biology. I would hold this up more, but it's quite heavy. So yeah, so for example, this is a, a beetle that you can find here in Ecuador, and this is the actual size of that beetle, and here is, is a miniaturized version, so you can see the whole thing in one picture, but this is its real life size. I really like this book because it covers beetles from all over the world, even if you're in like North America and you're like, oh, my beetles are boring, then there's beetles in here that have just North America as their range. So you have beetles like this one that just have really, really small ranges. And you have other examples of beetles that have like relatively large ranges. And you have, I mean, kind of like some, you know, kind of like typical nor normal beetles that you might just see around that you know might not realize have such a cool biology. And so they have, you know, a little bit of text about them. They also have really big kind of charismatic, shiny beetles as well. So this is a really fun book. You can see what's living around the world. You can see what's living in your habitat. You can see their actual sizes, which I think is so cool. You have beetles that are like, you know, a three or four inch body length with those huge legs to beetles that are just millimeters across that don't even have a heart. So really, really interesting, cool book to just flip through and see amazing, beautiful pictures. You are a museum nerd. This book is for you. This is Natural History's Innumerable Insects, the Story of the Most Diverse and Myriad Animals on Earth by Michael S. Engel. And it's a very gorgeous book and is filled with old museum plates, many of which these plates have not been released to the public. So if you like old timey insect drawings or insects, or you like scientific illustration, this book is definitely for you and needs a place on your coffee table. I really like, it's not just like a picture book of pictures. It talks a little bit about the people who did the art. And again, it talks about the animals themselves. Like this gets, starts getting into Coleoptera or the beetles. And you get these really beautiful scientific illustrations of these beetles or these insects in general, and a little bit about their history and a little bit about who, who drew them. So I really, really love this book as well. If you like art and you like insects, this is the perfect mashup for you. And this last book is one of my favorites. This is definitely one that when people walk into my house and they're like, I don't like bugs, I give them this one because there's like almost no reading and it's just cool pictures. I got this book because I could not go to the gallery. So this is Microsculpture, Portraits of Insects, and is by Levin Biss. And this comes from a museum gallery. I think it was held in one of the, one of the natural history museums in England. And basically they took these really intense photographs. Each one of these photographs is made up of like thousands of others that have been stacked together to give you this insect in full detail, perfectly blown up and you not missing an inch or even a millimeter or even a micrometer of detail in these guys. 
And these pictures in that original exhibit were blown up to like the size of walls. And I think that this book is so interesting because they're so used to seeing insects. They're so much smaller than us. They're, you know, they're on the ground. We're so far removed from them. Taking an animal that's that small and blowing it up to a space that's so big to show everyone like the beauty and the intricacy that these insects have was such a cool idea and I'm glad it got so much coverage. So this is the book that was subsequently published for those of us plebs that could not go to so those peasants that could not end up going and seeing it. So, you know, this is like the second best we could do. So this is um, Microsculpture and it has a little bit about the insect, but mainly just these really high quality, glossy images of these insects blown up. So different parts of the anatomy are blown up. So you can see that. Here's a tiger beetle. So you get the picture of the tiger beetle, but you also get to see the intricacies of the exoskeleton and what it looks like. Here's a gorgeous two page spread of an orchid bee. And you can really just see how beautiful these insects are when they're blown up to a size that humans can generally just appreciate them. And I love these black backgrounds to really make these insects pop. I'm gonna like hide. To really just make these insects pop off of the background. They're just, oh my God, be still like, look at how beautiful they are. So this is what I hand people when they come into my house because I think so many people are like, bugs are ugly, bugs are so small. You can't see any of the details on them. And just having a book like this really allows you to, you know, see just like, close up details, little divots, little pits that make these insects what they are. Like here is one of my favorite mantises in the whole world. This is a praying mantis, very, very shiny. And when you flip the page, it really shows you like what that wing venation looks like, what these arms look like. This book is bigger than my head. <laughs> what these arms look like and you know, what these wing venation pieces look like. So really, really gorgeous coffee table book. So love bugs, there we have my collection of books that live forever on my coffee table and are definitely on the top of the coffee table pile book. So I highly recommend all of these. They're just so beautiful. The art is so gorgeous. The pictures are so gorgeous and the information in them is really amazing. These are definitely the books that when someone enters your house and they're like, you like bugs, ew, that's weird. Like you hand them one of these and then all of a the sudden they're like, wow. I've handed these books to so many people who didn't even know that they liked bugs when they came into my house. And I watched them sit down with these books for a good half hour or so, just flipping through and being like, wow, I didn't know insects looked like this. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know like their biology was so complicated. Wow, I didn't realize how beautiful some of these arthropods are. Wow, I didn't know this lives where I live. And to me, that is just so powerful. So I highly recommend all of, all of these books. All right, my intellectually curious and very learned love bugs, I will see you all tomorrow when we do another and final book review video. Here's the last one. If you don't care anything about books and you're just like tired of books, that's fine. You can wait until Monday when another Turf Wars video is gonna come out. And until then, you can check out this video here, which has been recommended to you by the YouTube algorithm, or you can check this playlist down here, which just does a little bit about my life in Ecuador. All right, everybody, I will see you tomorrow for the final book review. All right.